So, um, a couple things I just want to remind you guys of then before you go ahead and take your test is let's remember, Jose, what our um, what parallel lines you're going to be talking about. So when we have parallel lines, does everyone want to remind me what parallel what the slopes of parallel lines have? Parallel lines have the same. Yes. They have the exact same slope, right? So now what our problem is asking us is it's saying find a new equation that is parallel to a given line that goes through a point. So first of all, whenever we're writing an equation of a line, we know that we're going to write it in y equals mx plus b format, right? Mm -hmm. So if I have my equation equals y equals mx plus b, uh, the first thing we need to know is what are m and, f and b represent? Well, m represents your slope and B represents your y-intercept. Now, the main important thing, guys, is they say find a new equation that's parallel to that. So if I have an equation that's parallel to this line, it has to have the same slope, correct? Correct? So therefore, I can now say that my new equation is y equals negative 3x plus b. Now, almost all students want to put in a 5 in for b. Just because, oh, I put the negative 3 in for m, why don't I put the 5 for b? Well, you could. If you put the 5 in for b, then it would be the exact same line. Now, not all parallel lines. Parallel lines, if they're the exact same line, well, they are infinitely touch each other, right? Remember, parallel lines are two <coughs> lines that never intersect. So therefore, our lines are going to um, have different y-intercepts. Now, the next thing we need to look at is what do x and y's represent? Why do we have an x and a y? An x and a y represent any point that's on the given line. So if my new parallel line goes through these two points, I can plug those points into my equation. So remember, your first coordinate is x and your second coordinate is y. I'll plug them in. Negative 2 equals negative 3 times negative 1 plus b, because I still don't know what a y-intercept is. Negative 3 times 3, or <coughs> negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3. Therefore, I subtract, now to solve for b, I subtract a 3 on both sides, and I get a negative 5 equals b. So now, ladies and gentlemen, what I've just figured out is if I have the same slope, and I have a, and that line goes through this point, its y-intercept is negative 5. So the equation of the line is going to be y equals negative 3x minus 5. Got it? So just remember, guys, when you're dealing with parallel lines, you keep the slope exactly the same, and then you find whatever point it goes through and plug them in for x and y to find your new b. Once you know what b and m are, you plug them into equations, and you got it. Okay?